advisor to the president-elect, Kellyanne Conway. It's great to have you here with us this morning. I know you've been holding a lot of meetings, but we are distracted from a little bit of the analysis of the cabinet by the tweeting. Once again, you say you want him to communicate directly with the people. It's certainly uh, part of his toolkit that helped him become president. I don't think anybody can reasonably deny that. But uh, do you believe that this is a good thing for him going forward, asking for equal time as president? You know, you don't get that. Going after critics. Is this really how he's going to spend his time as president? He has over 25 million followers on Facebook and Twitter, and it's a great way for him, Chris, to take his message directly to people, cut through the noise or the silence, whatever the case may be. Sometimes important things that he's saying and doing are getting zero coverage. Sometimes he's just trying to cut through the nonsense of people telling Americans what's important to them, which we saw through the elections wasn't true. People constantly being told this issue, this statement, this past transgression is important to you. And Americans said, no, it's not. What's important to me is this 100-day plan where he's going to drain the swamp and repeal and replace Obamacare and pass meaningful tax reform and create 25 million jobs. That's not what years. he's tweeting about, though. <laughs> Mike Pence says he wasn't offended. He says that Hamilton's overrated, which is, by the way, woof. Well, that's his opinion. I know, but opinion. wow. I'm going. Yeah. I'm taking my Sold out till next August. You'll, they will love it. The tickets were so expensive, it's all they got for their birthday. They, Sorry, honeys. They will but, love it. But the fact is, well, they may love it. I, I think. But I'm saying, why take it up? Why like, take up SNL? No president does that. Why take it up? Why waste the time? Why distract? What, but why do you care? In other words, it, who's to say that he can't do that? Make a comment, spend five minutes on a tweet and making a comment, and still having be the, the right to do it is absolute. Nobody's saying that. His, but he's, as my president. As my president. Then focus on what he did this week as your president-elect, which was unbelievable. So and I'm going to say unprecedented. So he doesn't take Dozens any responsibility for his own leaders. tweets. It's on me for focusing. I didn't say that. I didn't say he wasn't responsible. But you're, you're assigning malice or you're assigning wrongdoing to him where it doesn't exist. And I think...